Well, if you're a little skittish around scorpions, imagine coming face to face with this creature. Discovered by chance, we were out on the beach just looking around at the rocks. Yep, we realized that it was a gigantic millipede. That something uh, could exist here, no shock to me at all. That thing is a monster. Of course, this one is literally a giant. When it comes to exploring the world, there is no end to the inexplicable things we may come across. What the f is this? Be it stranded people or weird animals, tune in for some of the wildest discoveries made by explorers that no one was supposed to see. Massive Spider This passerby found something moving in the underground hole on the pavement. He stopped to get a closer look, but the discovery was bone-chilling. With his hands trembling with fear, he took out his phone and started recording. It was a huge, monstrous arachnid! The spider's enormous size and menacing aura struck fear, unveiling the true nature of this eerie creature. Its seemingly endless legs and a venomous gaze sent shivers down the guy's spine, leaving him both fascinated and terrified. Dwelling underground, this creature left him in awe and dread, igniting a chilling realization about the hidden terrors beneath the pavement. The encounter raised numerous unsettling questions about the lurking horrors that might exist just below our very feet. Dirt Creature this video was captured in the dense forest where the explorer came across this bizarre entity. It had come out of the dirt and was hopping around in a gruesome manner. Not just the explorer, but his cat too was equally confused and horrified by this bouncy creature. The being appeared to be all tentacles and no mouth or face. They were swaying around everywhere as it moved. Was it a dirt octopus? But no, its tentacles were more in number than an octopus normally has. Massive mating ball. A group of explorers were on an expedition in a forest. You know, forests always come with great surprises, but what they got was extraordinary. Oh, look, you can see their tails are intertwined. Yeah. All right. oh, hold on, I can get. While walking through the thick forest, they felt some shuffling in the dense bushes, but no creatures could be seen. Curious and courageous, they moved along them to find the source. They had the clue. It could be a snake, and their lives could be in danger. Let's be careful. We need to make sure we get the head on the female. But it was worth it. In the bushes, there was an incredible sight. A Burmese python mating ball. A female snake was surrounded by three to four males, all busy and harmless at the moment. There could be three or four males on top of this one female. That's just a little bit right there. The men, however, wisely refrained from disturbing the snakes, knowing a slight disturbance could put them in danger. Mystery of Karabi, Thailand. While the fisherman was on a fishing expedition across the Karabi Island in Thailand, his fishing rod reeled in a strange creature that was never seen before. It was all tentacles like a starfish, but at the same time, very different from it. The fisherman turned it over to get some movement out of it, and right when he thought it was deceased, the strange being started stretching its limbs. No science books or encyclopedias had any information about such a creature. It pointed towards only one possibility. It was a new discovery from the mysterious depths of the sea. Lost Girl Found in Cave These explorers went to solve the mysteries of the Ape Cave in Oregon. And, well, their aim to witness the supernatural horrors of the cave turned into something entirely different. English? You speak English? No English. No? They were all excited as they were nearing the cave's end. This is the end? This is the end. There's a wall now. But their excitement took the back seat when they came face to face with a surprise at the end of the tunnel. There was a little girl standing there. Eyes welled up with tears, and fear was evident on her innocent face. Uh huh? <laughs> Come with us? The guy's hunt to explore the horrors became a hero story as they rescued the little girl and helped her reunite with her parents. 
croc, gator, or something else. A group of tourists stumbled upon a jaw-dropping sight in the deep swamps. There, amidst the murky waters, writhed a strange serpent. Its scaly dragon-like back filled them with confusion and fear. The mystery hung thick in the air until closer inspection revealed the truth. It wasn't a mythical creature, but a battle-worn alligator. This resilient survivor had faced a fierce fight, losing its front limbs in the process. Despite the tragedy, it had adapted, morphing into an enigmatic serpent-like figure. Now, this gator, once a fearsome predator, had become a mysterious member of the serpent family. I mean, it does look like a hybrid of both a snake and a gator, doesn't it? Zombie Insect Not soaring, but stumbling. It resembled a zombie insect, yet it wasn't one. This beleaguered beetle was on its last legs. Despite its abdomen devoured by a predatory insect, it clung to life. Insects, unlike animals, endure, whether missing limbs or their entire heads. Their unique biology grants them extra moments before the end. An explorer found this insect in the middle of nowhere, with its body partially gone and limbs twisted. Yet it persisted, defying the odds. That's the astonishing resilience of insects that they still strive to survive even in the face of the direst circumstances. Massive Gator The mysteries lie in the swamps of South Carolina are no less than that of the ones in Florida. You could even find creatures of monstrous size just like this one. Oh, it's flopped out. <laughs> oh! This is no dummy, but an actual gator that they caught in South Carolina. And look at that beast, an Allegosaurus hanging from the tree, ready to be turned into a feast, or maybe raw material for boots or even purses. The group of explorers were absolutely thrilled at the catch. Being almost 13 feet long and 615 pound alligator is no joke, y'all. It was the discovery of a lifetime. Friendly Fish Meet the Asian Sheep's Head Ras, an extraordinary friend to a scuba diver for over three decades. Long ago, Hiroyuki Arakawa rescued the injured and weary fish named Yoriko. He diligently cared for it, providing daily meals of crabs and nurturing it back to health. Since then, Arakawa has visited his Piscine friend every single day. Forging a remarkable bond. They play together, their affection is very evident towards each other. Strangely, the fish allows only Arakawa to be close, even permitting him to kiss its head. An emblem of gratitude for the decades of kindness. It's a tale of enduring friendship where a man and a fish have shared a lifetime of companionship beneath the waves. Ancient Sea Monster After hearing the eerie, nerve-wrecking screams, rumors spread about the presence of a sea monster. With the locals scared witless, nobody would dare to go near that sea. At last, the military had to go patrolling around the area. And what they heard made their souls tremble. The loud screeching screams didn't resemble any familiar sea animal. Instead, it was eerily different. The military patrolling from the helicopter was able to capture the sight of that screaming creature. It was a humongous, ancient creature, swimming around the sea, causing massive ripples that it looked like a storm inside the water. No whale and no shark, this creature was massive and direct from prehistoric times. Monster versus Dog an explorer captured a remarkable encounter. 
While on his trip around the dense forest, he saw a creature hiding behind the tree, in the grass, aiming to charge at its prey. An innocent dog. From the distance the man was standing, it looked like it was a black bear. But then, it got up and lunged forward toward the dog. And turned out, it was no bear, but something more vicious, bigger, and scary. Some mythical creature, perhaps? <coughs> However, as the video circulated, experts revealed the truth behind the encounter. It was a huge timber wolf! These animals can grow up to a massive size. And see, that size can scare the bejesus out of anyone. Scudigera Encounter This explorer went on an expedition inside the Gomatong Cave in Malaysia. It is one of the nastiest places on the planet. And met absolute horror. Oh no, not those cockroaches, but their predators. The Scudigera, the house centipedes. They are so venomous that one bite can take you to the hospital. It is quite venomous. This guy was being really gutsy about handling the rock that had the scary centipedes on both of its sides. They actually have, like most centipedes, oh, they just run over my arm. Those 15 pointy langs could get you the idea of how dangerous it was. And if that wasn't scary enough, these centipedes are so fast that they can run across the room in a split second. And let me clarify, they're not only limited to caves, but found in homes as well. Moth webs. This footage was made by a man back in 2019. He was dropping off his kids at school when he saw the white blanketed bushes. It looked like the Halloween season came a bit late in this part of Liverpool, but no, this was not a part of Halloween decorations, but it was nature's handiwork. These were the moth webs that covered the entire street of Hasty Close. These were ermine moths who had been spinning the webs for a week as they were going to lay eggs pretty soon. All the walls and bushes in the street were covered with a fascinating, transparent, silky blanket, giving it an ethereal look. Stinking Insects Cluster No, that's not some outgrowth on the tree branch, but a cluster of insects. They stay stuck together to keep themselves warm and away from any predatory bird. Either it's scorching heat or chilling cold, they stay like this until they grow their wings, or in some cases, become food to some birds. These insects don't make any noise. You won't even feel their presence. Like, usually insects buzz around, but they won't. But you can sense their presence with their stink. That's their main and quite prominent characteristic. Drunk Pig there lay the pig, still breathing, but clearly lost in a world of its own. Are you messed up, girl? On its back, legs in the air, it seemed entirely out of it. The man tried to flip it over, but instead, it rolled down the grassy slope, emitting odd snorty sounds. Oh, 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 come here, come here, girl. The pig was obviously drunk but it continued to remain in an odd condition of sleep, even as it descended. The pig looked as though it had found some intoxicated food. The man persevered, trying to help the chubby creature stand on its legs. Okay, 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 wait a minute, there we go, wait a minute, wait a minute, there we go. But it continued to stagger, clearly not in its right mind, struggling to walk a straight line. The mystery of what had befallen this bewildered animal remained unsolved. Webworms. The arrival of webworms is a fascinating phenomenon that occurs toward the end of summer. They come out on trees and spin fine silk webs on the branches of deciduous trees. They eat the leaves in these webs, the silk growing longer as the branches become entangled. The webs act as strange collectors, gathering leaf fragments, lost skin, and waste from caterpillars. They live in these silky houses for six weeks before descending to spin cocoons, leaving behind empty webs and stripped branches. Healthy trees are unaffected, even though the dangling sacks detract from the view. The fascinating process is restarted in the spring, where the webworms emerge from their cocoons. Creepy Clusters 
And it goes without saying, these are no spaghettis. As for one, they're on the ground. And two, they are moving. This is the usual yearly behavior of the millipedes. They cluster together in thousands when the season is changing. This keeps them warm to an ideal temperature, and that's how they move to find food and shelter. Look how they're overlapping each other and slithering in one motion, like they're one entity. Puffed up mango. Have you ever spotted a mango bobbing along in a river? I bet not, considering mangoes can't swim. But what you see here is no mango. It's a pufferfish. Quite different from your typical kind, that it didn't have any visible sharp spines. This one was a vibrant yellow, a far cry from the usual scaly texture. It was puffed up like a balloon, almost resembling the fruit. If not for its eyes and a mouth spurting water, you might mistake it for a mango. All in all, it was an oddly cute fish, don't you think? Clingy octopus. If you ever wonder, what are octopus's tentacles for? Well, they're used for clinging with a tight grip of eight tentacles so that it won't be hard for the target to get free. Look at this poor boy here who has a stubborn octopus attached to his arm. <laughs> He's got it's quite obvious how scared he is as he tries to get the tentacles off his arm. And, well, the octopus didn't look like he was in the mood to let go that easily. But he mustered up some strength and threw it off into the sea. Front leg problem. In the heart of the forest, an explorer stumbled upon a stranded sheep its struggle was evident in its unsteady gait. The poor creature couldn't walk straight due to its crooked front legs, a mysterious <laughs> ailment that perplexed the onlooker. It seemed like the owner had abandoned it due to its condition. Yet the reason behind its bent legs remained shrouded in mystery. Was it a genetic quirk or the aftermath of a predator's assault? The enigma lingered, leaving the observer in a state of intrigue pondering the secrets hidden within the depths of the woods. Huge Dog At first interaction, you would be shocked thinking, what a goofy bear, rolling on the grass and having fun. And without a doubt, it resembled a grizzly a lot. Look, right from Masha and the bear, Nick was on a vacation. One fine evening, when he was filming the guest house backyard, his camera panned towards his pooch, Bella, who was rolling on the grass. When the video went around TikTok, people mistook it for a bear. Now, Bella, a Labrador pit bull cross, weighed about 140 pounds. And I won't blame people for mistaking her for a bear, because she actually looked like one. Her size and breed got her media fame, and she became a celebrity. South Sulawesi Mermaid On the South Sulawesi beach in Indonesia, fishermen made an astonishing discovery in 2018. Locals had been chattering about mermaid sightings for a while then, but what they found was equally mesmerizing. A mysterious creature, partly in the water, partly on the sandy shore, captured their attention. Excitement buzzed in the air as they rushed to the creature's aid, hoping for a legendary mermaid sighting. <laughs> to their surprise, it wasn't a mermaid, but a dugong, a creature that is considered sacred in Indonesia. <laughs> Though it wasn't what they expected, the encounter still left them in awe. Dragon Sighting This cave exploring went absolutely crazy when he entered a realm of fiction and myth. Deep inside the tunnel, he found a huge, hollow, and broken egg. Of course, it didn't belong to any bird, nor an animal. The man was just observing the egg, trying to apprehend its owner. It was apparent that it had hatched quite recently. 
But then, where was the baby? As if to answer his very confusion, a creature emerged from behind the cave stones. Okay, uh, Owen. Its sudden appearance made the man stumble backwards. Owen. Oh, okay. Um, his breath hitched in his throat, and a question lurked in the air. Was it a real dragon? There was no other explanation to it. The egg indeed belonged to this mythical creature that had been residing secretly in the cave. Underground Water Bubble Who knew nature could build you a trampoline, and that too surrounded by green fields? This was actually a water bubble that was explored in the middle of nowhere, in vast fields, where people wouldn't even spot it. Until some did accidentally. This family was playing in the fields, jumping around, when they felt a bounce in the grass. There's a water bubble here. <laughs> Bouncy grass? Well, that was a first for them. To know what was underneath, they started to dig the ground with an axe, and water started to sprout from the ground, making the fields all wet and muddy. Got it. Got it. Just when you thought nature was done with its bizarre surprises, it'll come up with something even more extraordinary. Baby-like cry. Witness the amazing defense mechanism. One man caught this giant salamander, but before he could even think of making a feast out of it, its protesting cries echoed through the area. It recorded its disagreement loud and clear. The salamander didn't want to become a meal just yet. Overwhelmed by the salamander's panicked cries, the fisherman had no other option but to let it go. He portrayed a great display of kindness by giving up on this perfect hunt. Bigfoot Skull With only one question in mind, do Sasquatches exist or are they just myths? These explorers went into this forest to find answers. Fully equipped, they embarked on their journey, unaware of the startling discovery awaiting them. You see that, like, eye cavity sticking up? Deep within the forest, they stumbled upon a mud pool, concealing the remains of a mysterious creature. I found a skull, or a bone, right here in the bed of the river. Excitement surged as they unearthed a skull, but their joy turned to dread. It wasn't a bear as they thought. It belonged to a primate. A shocking revelation. That's not a bear skull. Actually, that is not a bear skull, you're right. Examining closely, they found a bullet hole in its head. Maybe shot in the head, there's a, there's a hole in this. The truth struck them. Sasquatch existed. The forest whispered secrets, leaving them awestruck. That could be a Sasquatch. Unraveling a cryptic tale of a creature once elusive, now found in the heart of the wilderness. Mysterious Footprints The mystery of Bigfoot will always remain a controversial topic, with people making discoveries to prove their existence, and authorities never paying heed to them. This bunch of explorers found another clue that led them towards the only speculation. That was the presence of Bigfoot. It was a 16-inch long footprint that looked fresh on the wet mud. Look at the size of that. That's a really big print. They had felt a presence from afar in the bushes, and when they followed it, they were bewildered to find the huge footprints on the ground. What I found on that sandbar are footprints. It resembled a human foot, but its sheer size was pointing towards the eerie possibility. It was not just one print, but a series of them. The experts were called. I would like to get Ronnie and Maria to scan this. And they declared it a definite presence of some mythical creature, mainly the Bigfoot in Washington. Breathing Land we all have studied in our science class that plants are living things, and they do breathe. But I can bet you've never seen this one, like actually breathing as if with its nostrils. In the heart of a Houston forest, explorers stumbled upon a sight straight out of a mystery tale. 
The trees were heaving up and down, as if gasping for air. It was a rarity, a moment that sent shivers down their spines. Upon investigating, the truth emerged. These trees were not performing some mystic ritual, but battling the aftermath of heavy rains and floods. Strong storm rapidly intensifying and produced really strong wind gusts. Weak and frail, they swayed under the force of southwestern winds. Goblin Inside Tree Let me take you to a forest where myths are reality, or considered to be one. Explorers ventured into this forest, and shortly into their journey, they saw an ancient tree with oddly big holes at the bottom. Before he could get weirded out by them, he caught a sight of someone even more strange, a creature standing in there. It resembled a creature directly from the world of fiction, a goblin. Look closely, and you will see a light glimpse of the mythical being. Chupacabra Carcass Imagine being on a search for a strange creature around the outskirts, but find something even more extraordinary. This guy's camera captured a mysterious carcass in the middle of nowhere covered by grass. He didn't notice it at first, thinking of it to just be a dump. But the unbearable smell was enough to tell it was no dump, but a deceased animal. Upon looking closer, of course, with the camera zoom, he was mind blown by the fact that the creature exactly fit the appearance description of the mythical creature, the Chupacabra. But how did it end up there? And what caused him to pass away? Nobody had the answer. And here's another discovery dating back to 2011. It's changing pictures and it's just, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting. A supposed chupacabra came out of the wild, and before it could lash out to anyone, a man from Nelson County shot him. But after running multiple deep researches, scientists came up with a reasoning that the mysterious, hairless animal was not a chupacabra, but a raccoon. They give it away, uh, that it is in fact a raccoon. The reason why it turned bald, though, was a mystery. Chupacabra behind deer. An animal feeding off of other animals is very normal in the forest, but when there's a mythical creature at hunt, it's no game. The chupacabra caught a whiff of food and dashed towards it. Its strong presence forced the buzzards to abandon their meal in haste. They had to make a clear choice between becoming the dinner and leaving their dinner. The chupacabra came forward and dragged away the deer carcass. It was time for the being to feast. Dragon Skeleton in China Even the researchers were baffled with this discovery, because dragons were the creatures from fiction for a long time, from the worlds of wizards and witches. So, what was it doing in China? Back in 2017, explorers made a chilling discovery by unearthing a six-foot-long dragon skeleton. It had prominent claws, it had a long serpentine body. Since dragons are very much present as a part of Chinese culture, uh, not literally, but their symbolic presence is strong enough, it remained a mystery for the experts, leaving them to ponder if the dragon skeleton was real or not. We have dragons everywhere in time and in different cultures. What are your thoughts about this? I mean, it looked pretty legit to me. Skeleton of Unknown Back in 2020, a woman was walking her dog in a park in South Carolina. A pretty normal day, I'd say. Until the dog made a perplexing discovery. What the heck is this? His extraordinary sniffing ability led them to find a skeleton of a mysterious animal that had not yet been discovered. Its appearance didn't resemble any known being. At first, I really wasn't sure what it was. Bizarre structure, huge, dangerous teeth, and hollow eyes. The creature looked several years old, as it had been reduced to bones. Part of the creature's body had taken the shape of a fin. I thought somebody would be like, oh, it's like, um, you know, like a, a seal, and then I'd go about my day. Once the footage went online, people came up with different speculations. 
Some called it to be a possum, and others said it could be a chupacabra. A lot of people, I had no idea. I have never came across something like this. However, the reality wasn't revealed to the public. Expired creature on a roadside. Driving through a shady part of town, this group of men spotted a lifeless figure on the road, thinking it was an injured pet. With noble intentions, they halted, ready to rescue. However, as they approached, shock gripped them. It wasn't a typical creature, but a grotesque being, a blend of a pig's face and a fish's lower body. Perplexity deepened when they noticed a meat factory stamp on its abdomen. Mystified, they stood there, trying to fathom the inexplicable sight before them. Mystery Bones A skeleton of a mysterious creature was dug up in eastern Turkey. What the actual creature was was left shrouded in mystery. It did look like a dog, but had predatory teeth. Its long legs and nails instead of hooves made the mystery more complicated. As some of the tissue was still left on the skeleton's body, it could be a possibility to find out the animal's DNA through it. The area where the strange skeleton was found had been isolated for the last 30 to 40 years, and it caused confusion as to how the creature got there in the first place. The skeleton was sent to a lab, and even if they won't be able to find out its true identity, it might make its home in a museum. Carcass of the Unknown while on an expedition, the archaeologists found a mummified carcass of a creature unknown to humans. The mummy was not a preserved one, but it looked like it was abandoned or something. But was it some animal? Or some other, even more mysterious being? Nobody could answer. But the strange being clearly pointed out that the ancient mysteries are still unresolved. Was it some prehistoric animal that went extinct? Or was it the confirmation that aliens did coexist with the humans at some part of the past? Mystery of Arizona Back in 2003, researchers were digging around the Atacama Desert in search of some fossils when they bumped into something extraordinary. And it was nothing they had expected. They unearthed a strange carcass. The creature was eerily different from any animal that they knew of. Its huge eyes and the whole structure was bone-chillingly bizarre. Folklores, fossils, and every information they had regarding the prehistoric beings was taken out of the cupboards and studied. But nothing could be found. What was this creature? The result of mutation? An extraterrestrial? Or a failed hybrid? Smallest Frog Yep, frogs are not that big in size, but have you ever really seen one this small? This frog could fit in a fist quite easily and will still be really tiny for the hand. It jumps around and does everything a normal-sized frog does, but this size makes it extraordinary. The guy who found it in his lawn was quite shocked to see a frog this small, but turned out it was a toad. And, well, they're not this small either but they are quite smaller than frogs. Barren Caterpillar Camouflaging itself quite skillfully in the leaves is the barren caterpillar. It may look like a relative of a chameleon, but it was from the barren family. This species inhabits the tropical forests of South America and Asia. Barren caterpillars are ordinary caterpillars with black skin and yellow spots, but what makes it stand out is its ingenious camouflage. The barren caterpillars are masters of disguise. Its special feathers help it blend seamlessly into its surroundings. It doesn't even take long, but in a few minutes, its feathers change color and help it hide into its surroundings away from its predators. But that's not the only way they protect themselves. As soon as they feel threatened, they eject their metallic hair that causes irritation, making the predator back off. Open discussion. Imagine coming face to face with the biggest horror of the century, a colossal millipede. Nature has hundreds of thousands of ways to show how remarkable it is. 
Back in January 2018, in northern England, a chunk of sandstone fell off the cliff in Howick Bay Beach and proved to be a blessing in disguise. That sandstone broke open and revealed a fossil discovery that blew even the minds of paleontologists. It was a fossilized eight-foot-long bug that was way more than the size of a normal human. It was 22 inches wide and weighed about 110 pounds. The scientists who discovered this bug named it Arthroplora, which was the resident of today's North America and Europe. But don't be scared. This terrifying millipede doesn't exist anymore. This species of worms dates back to more than 326 million years ago. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.